don't want to wear my boots. To... Tractor supply. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I can't do it yet. Do y'all just sleep under there? That's how y'all sleep? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's breathing. Anyways, moving these. This is how I get my cardio in. Because I forgot to check the drain plug on this before it filled up more. Now I gotta make sure I did it. Babies, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I know you're hungry and I'm not trying to mistreat you, but I've gotta go pick something up and then I'm gonna have to come in there and work. So I'm gonna have to feed you when I come home. I can't triple and quadruple feed y'all every time I need to go in there. You're just gonna have to wait a little longer this morning, okay? I love y'all, I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey guys, Brian here and I am leaving Morrow Hill. Um, y'all can see I'm making Billy and Granny pretty angry, but I have to go in there and do some work today. I'm heading to Tractor Supply because one of you sweet, sweet followers, subscribers of my channel, um, sent the cows and the goats a new watering hole today. So I've got to go pick it up. I'm going to have to do some work in that pasture and get it all hooked up. I've got some tools back there in the back. That way I can just hop straight to it. Whenever I get home, I'm going to pull straight back there and get it going. So wish me luck because I don't really know what I'm doing. Cannot be that hard of a job, right? They had some trouble finding my, I'm pulling through the parking lot. Y'all don't get mad at me. I'm paying attention. I promise. Pulling through the parking lot. They found my water tank. They had a real hard time finding my order. But they found it. He said, pull over here to the back gate. I'm assuming it's one of those. I guess he meant over here. He's gonna load it up right here. Get the back a little closer for him. Shouldn't be heavy, right? It's just rubber. How heavy could it be? Let's back it up. I think that'll do it. Let's go find it. All right, we got our Rubbermaid commercial products, 100 gallon stock tank. Mr. Mark got it all loaded up for me. We're ready to go get it set up. I just found where Tractor Supply keeps all of the good pallets. And someone was getting them right now and I can't fit it in here with this thing but they were the the littler pallets and they were all so well put together i bet i could use those for lots of projects i'm gonna be coming back and raiding tractor supply all the time for pallets i'm gonna take one last drive through here look at all those boxes they're getting rid of i don't see that any of these other stores have any pallets other people that were there got all the ones Tractor Supply had. I felt like I had it together today. I was doing so good. I got out of the house in a good time. They had some problems with my order at Tractor Supply and now here I am going back to Tractor Supply after I sat and waited on my order for 30 minutes because I forgot that G and Pop need cat food and I could have gone in the whole time I was sitting there and got cat food. Now I've made it halfway home and I've got to go back to Tractor Supply and I am not going to dare tell them that I forgot about their cat food. Y'all do not tell them I forgot their cat food and I had to go back. Promised you guys I'd feed y'all. Here I am. I'm back. I'm back. Come on, babies. I'll wait for y'all to get over here. I'm going to walk you way down the fence. Woo, Ryan. Good looking cows. 
Come on, I'm gonna bring you way down here, I know. I know, it's like a tease, but I gotta get in the gate with my car. And I wanna make sure, oh yeah, spunky, huh? Woo wee! All right, ready? I bet you're really hungry after that run, huh? All right. I like to spread it out a bit and keep them busy a little longer. Not all up on top of each other. All right, I gotta go get my car before they start coming back. Oh no, I gotta get Amy first. <laughs> Listen, come on. Hey, it's kind of wet in here, okay? I want you to stay out of the water. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on you. All right? Stay out of the water. You hear me? Okay, baby. You better stay out of the water. Don't you go in the puddles. I will put you back in the yard right now. Just gonna go over there and see what they're doing. Thank you for keeping your feet dry. She just started doing a happy dance and I didn't have my phone out. She was jumping all over this place though and throwing her head around before she went walking off. That was pure excitement, I think. I am really hoping that my phone doesn't fall over where it's at because it's gonna be right where I'm dumping this water at. But this is just the best angle for you guys, so we're gonna do it. Might even get a little closer. But my tools I brought in my car today, firstly, was this piece of twine, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. I had to get my gloves because it's cold and I don't want water all over my hands, but I don't know how good these gloves are gonna do for that. I've got my stock tank care tablets. One of you nice, nice people sent this to me too. Don't really keep me taken care of good around here, but. So, we got that. <sighs> oh, I need to get my bucket. Got my bucket for some water emptying. Now, I didn't bring a tool down here. Jake told me that these things yeah, they've got tabs on them, so they just twist off, and I'm not turning the water off. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. Oh, look, that's pretty, that was pretty easy. Huh. Cool. This should be a fairly easy job. There we go. And guys, here is where my string comes in. Let me show you why. I don't want to turn the water off. Y'all know Pop has the well house screwed shut. We don't gotta talk about that, but he does have the well house screwed shut. I don't know if I've got this loose enough yet. Nope, not loose enough. can't reach it. Okay. I finally got this off of here. And what I'm going to do so the water doesn't go crazy, I'm going to hold this little floater device up. And then I'm just going to tie my string. Not in the knot or anything. It's not going to pull back. It's made to be light and float. So, boom, no water spewing everywhere. I didn't have to use a uh, drill to come get the well house open pop. I wish I wasn't doing this on a day that it's so stinking cold outside. What do you think? my boots to... tractor supply <sighs> I can do this I can do this 
I can't do it yet. the well house. That was great. It's great. And this is why I'm glad my phone didn't fall over. Made a mess. I'm going to pull these blocks out a little ways. Oh my gosh! Look at that guy that was sleeping under there. Do y'all just sleep under there? That's how y'all sleep? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's breathing. Anyways, moving these just away from the well house a little bit. So that I don't have to try to screw in my water filler so close to the building because it was really hard to get to those bolts or screws or I don't know what you would call them. gonna freeze off. Okay. Oh no. This one's bigger. I have to scoot the box some more. I should get some rock and put it there. It just didn't seem that stable, but I forget that it's gonna be a lot heavier when it has water in it. And look, even has a has a drain plug for when I need to let it out and clean it again. How do I make sure that's closed for when I fill it up? Don't know. <laughs> right. My feet are already wet now, right? It's much easier to deal with now that it's off this trough. We let her fill up. But I've got one more thing. One more thing. These, I was showing you all these a minute ago. This is natural stock tank care. And this says to put one tablet per 15 gallons of water. I have a 100 gallon tank here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put six of them in there. I think it'll do.
better than not having anything at all, right? But I don't know what the safety margin is, so I don't want to put too much. Um, so I'm just going to go with, with six tablets for right now. And they do dissolve in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll go put these up with my feet. Um, it says to do these every one to two weeks or when a water change has been made. So we're going to start keeping a closer eye on this and see kind of when algae starts to grow. And then we'll start changing the water before that. So um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Y'all have a good one. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Can't forget to put the hose back up under so no one gets stuck in it. There we go. Come check on this later. This is how I get my cardio in. Because I forgot to check the drain plug on this before it filled up more. Now I gotta make sure I did it. Oh.